Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today we are going to be hanging out with Elaine and all of our medieval crew, and we are going to be back in the magical realm of Glimmerbrook. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here. And let's go ahead, you guys, and get to it. Kenji is actually at this medieval bar here, and he is currently here with Silas. And Silas and him have had a long day uh, do it, taking care of magic and trying to figure out, um, you know, how they're going to be able to further protect the, the child that they have been enlisted to help care for. You know, Silas is the assistant to the witch queen, um, so it's his job to kind of, you know, help her, encourage her, all of that stuff. So, you know... And on the other end, we have Kenji, the vampire, who his entire goal is just to make sure Daisy stays safe. Because if you guys remember in the last episode, Daisy was born. So as you can see, the guys both keep looking over here while they're talking about their busy days. And they notice here that there is actually someone they've never seen before. And Kenji is really curious and so is Silas because it's not somebody they've seen in the realm before. And it's their jobs to basically keep track of anybody new. So Kenji has decided to take it into his own hands and to introduce himself and kind of find out like what are you doing here why are you here so he's gonna get to know this lady here so Kenji has learned that this is Adelaide and she is a spellcaster as well so he is gonna just ask her about it and try to figure out more about her and as he's asking questions she actually walked off so Kenji's a little suspicious about the fact that she automatically wanted to get away from him so she's actually going upstairs now oh she's up here kicking garbages so I think she's angry that he was even asking questions to her in the first place so this is Adelaide. She is a known spellcaster to Kenji now and he is wondering why she is poking around the tavern. So he's kind of made a mental note about it and he also has noticed over here that there is a, another guy. So he's also going to try to get to know him and see like what what brings you guys here, you know. And he doesn't want to lead on to them that he's super suspicious. But like I said, it's basically been enlisted from the witch queen to make sure that, you know, anybody new or anyone poking around is, you know, they know who they are and they're aware of everything because their job is to protect Daisy. So Kenji is a little bit um, overprotective, I think, in that sense, only because he is trying to almost like gain his way into heaven so to speak he has made a lot of bad decisions and hurt a lot of people in his life and he feels so bad about it when he was a young vampire he had no control over his new powers and he took advantage of people because of it so now he's kind of during this redemption part of his life where he is like okay I'm gonna do a really good job at this you know and he's taking it really seriously even though he's annoyed that his final moment of redemption is taking care of a child and that he, he's literally a glorious babysitter <laughs> um, but nonetheless he takes it very seriously and because he was here with Silas Silas was like I don't know who these people are and Silas knows everyone when it comes to witches and wizards he is after all the second in command to the queen of the realm so that definitely has made Kenji very interested in these people. For now, he is just going to head home, and we are going to jump over to our beautiful main characters, Elaine and Lancelot. So I will see you guys when we are with them. Alrighty, you guys. So we are finally back in the household with Elaine and Lancelot. Lancelot is out on the street. Maybe he was doing his own 
uh, nightly rounds. It is 8.30 p.m. He's probably just making sure everybody's safe, but now he wants to go hug Elaine lovingly. Oh, oh no, he chose to hug the pig instead. <laughs> I would use the cute little piggies myself as well. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, our beautiful little baby girl was born, Daisy, and she is so cute. Oh, Elaine is late for work. No, Elaine. She's like, I just gave birth. Let me have a drink. Get to work. So if you guys remember in the last episode, actually, we were so super duper close to our um, promotion, but then she gave birth. And so like the game kicked her out of work and she came home. So we did not get a promotion in the last episode. Oh, wow. Elaine earned $44. She did not get a promotion because she was super late for work. Uh, and she doesn't work now for three days she's off so I highly doubt that there's gonna be a promotion today unless I play for eight years we should try to build some type of like little pig shack for them I think I'm gonna move these like hanging sausages they're cute but not necessary okay so I went ahead and I added in a little laundry area for Elaine to do laundry and then I got this cute little piggy area for a little piggy so I put a couple little dog beds so in case they want to hang out in there and there's some cute little pig feeders and um, even though we do have the dog food bowls actually inside since they are technically Popeyes but shh don't tell nobody so I just finished making Elsa, um, little Daisy's room. I tried to make it really basic because obviously she is um, in medieval times for starters, but they also are a really poor family. Like they're still starting out and you know, they just moved into this big place that they can't afford. <laughs> so uh, this is her little room. Um, I tried to go with all browns like my natural instinct was like cover it in pink or purple and make it sparkly But honestly, that's just not how things were decorated back then So I found this really cool old bed with like just a basic blanket on the Sims resource So I was really excited about that I got her a little chair to sit in and a little bear to play with in the little wagon. She's got a little bit of art on the wall, a little toy box, and I thought maybe Elaine could have made that drapery for her, and there's just some little old dated posters, a little porta potty, and a really cute little bat teddy bear. I think they wanna, like, they got her the little backs. They're like, oh, you know, she's gonna be around vampires a lot. We should try to get her comfortable with the idea of that. Um, so I will get Elaine to come up here and change her diaper and we can also give her a little feeding. Look at Lancelot. He is on it. He's like, don't worry, I have got it covered. Oh look, the little piggies are using their new little beds. Obviously in the winter I'll bring their beds inside because I don't want them to get snowed on. But oh look at our little piggies. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, Lancelot is still taking care of little Daisy being such a good dad. And we have Elaine just about to start um, doing the laundry. It says here that she wants to embrace Sir, which is so uh, She wants to embrace Lancelot, which is so cute. But Lancelot is going to go ahead and they are going to start the club gathering here for um, the magic club gathering because we want Kenji to meet Daisy. That way he obviously knows who, um, who he is protecting, <laughs> for starters. And if you guys saw on my community tab, I did post that little Matilda did give birth to a little baby boy and they named him Cody. So super cute. We love, 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 love him. And I'm really happy that um, her and uh, Merlin are so happy. Oh, look at these two all cutie pies since they had the little babaloo. Little cuties. So hopefully this will work. I've never actually seen the show off thing work. So I'm hoping it was just because like maybe there wasn't enough room around the whole baby bassinet that the function would work. But I think it's going to work this time. So Lancelot is going to introduce Daisy to Kenji and say, you know, my wife gave birth to a little baby girl. Um, her name is Daisy and this is the little girl that you are going to be helping us protect. 
So there he is showing her to Kenji. So Kenji's like, great. I'm taking care of a rat. <laughs> it looks like it could be a snack for my dinner. <laughs> Um, Lancelot's gonna give this dog a bath, and everyone is out here visiting, so let's have Elaine come over and be friendly. I think she would like to talk to Kenji and kind of get to know him. So, she's getting to know Kenji and asking about him, and she's kind of a little bit annoyed. So she's gonna be like, I don't understand why a vampire is the person who is to be taking care of my kid. Like, I appreciate all the help and everything, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, it's vampires that are after me. I got trapped by a vampire, and now I have to rely on another vampire to protect us? So she's feeling a little insulted. So she's being a little mean, but it's mainly because of the fact that, yeah, he's left. So she insulted him. But I understand where it comes from because she was just recently trapped by vampires. She was attacked by a vampire and treated really badly and she almost, you know, she could have died. But Matilda's gonna say to her, like, you know, not to be disrespectful, Elaine, I understand where all of this comes from, but you have to remember I'm a vampire and I've been always good and always helped your family. So, you know, it kind of hurts me when you speak so harshly about it. You know, there's a lot of mean humans too. You have evil humans who've done a lot of bad things. It's not just vampires. So Elaine, I think, is kind of eating her own words now and feeling a little bit bad. And she realizes, you know, in being protective, overly protective, and maybe still trying to get over the fact that this horrible thing has happened to her, she's been really kind of rude to, um, to little Matilda. So Kenji's kind of come to the back of the house to kind of like get away and cool down. Oop. So uh, I think she came out to hang up her laundry, so maybe she can just say to him, like, I'm really sorry. Maybe Elaine could perhaps apologize to him for being rude. Is there an apologize option? Uh, no. So we'll give, get her to do a heartfelt compliment and just say, you know, Kenji, I'm really sorry. I lost my cool there. I really appreciate that you're going out of your way to help me. He's like, yeah, no worries. I'm used to it. <laughs> But she's just gonna say, you know, I've had a bad history with vampires, so it's gonna take me a little bit of, it's gonna take me a while to get comfortable with the idea of letting one so close to my child, especially one that I don't know very well. And so he's like, it's okay, I understand. I'm only here because Matilda asked me to be here. You know, if you want me gone, I'll leave. Like, this really isn't that important to me. <laughs> so um, Elaine's like, no, please stay. I'm really sorry. So Kenji's like, all right, well, I'll stay unless you ask me to go. And she's like, okay, thank you. So they've kind of made up and they kind of have seen, um, they're seeing eye to eye now instead of, you know, not so much. I'm just gonna put Daisy back inside the house. <laughs> Um, so at least Elaine is like, okay, I'm gonna try to give him a chance and not be so negative all the time. But Elaine doesn't work until, uh, when is it again? Elaine doesn't work until Thursday, or till Friday, sorry. So I am going to actually switch over to Kenji and we're gonna hang out with him for a little bit. So I will meet you guys over at Kenji's place. Alrighty, you guys, so we are over at Kenji's place. Uh, he's just got back from Lancelot and Elaine's place, and he's kind of annoyed that once again, he is taking care of a child. He doesn't really understand why he's still here. He's, he's getting a little frustrated, but you know, he's just practicing his organ. He has been around for a very long time. Kenji is a very, very old vampire. He's not like one of the first vampires, but he was turned from one of the first vampires. So he's been around for a very long time. So Kenji, when he was over there, because of how upset Elaine was getting and how things were starting to get a little bit dark, Kenji didn't really mention anything to her about the fact that he saw the mysterious people at the pub and he didn't want to worry them any further because you know, she already doesn't trust him, so it's a lot for someone to take all of that in at one time. So Kenji is trying to just do some dark meditation to see if he can feel their energy in the realm. 
So he did some dark meditation and now he's just going to lay down in his coffin um, and try to get some rest and rejuvenate because doing the dark meditation does take a lot of energy out of them. Um, so he is just going to take a little bit of a rest um, and he's trying to figure out what the best thing to do is because obviously he wants to make sure that the little girl and the family is safe. So he knows something is up. And once again, he is seeing these people poking around the town. So he's actually invited them back to his place because he was seeing them walking around and he's wondering what's going on. Now, Kenji has quite reputation for himself. So even though he knows these people are evil, he probably knows that they know of his past and so that they're probably less worried about him you know, getting involved in whatever evil plans they might have. So, you know, he is playing into that. You know, he, like I said, he's well-renowned as an evil vampire. So these people, these wizards and witches definitely feel like they don't have to worry and they can be a little bit more loose around him. So he's being friendly and bonding with them. And he's trying to find out, you know, so what are you guys doing around here anyways? I keep seeing you poking around. You know, this has become my turf. This is my hunting grounds. I just want to know why you guys are here getting in the way. And so Adelaide and her companion, what is the companion's name again? Allie. So Al Adelaide and Allie are explaining to them that they were hired by one of their higher ups, Alistair to locate a family and we're supposed to check all of the realms so uh, we're just making our way through here so um kenji is like well you know i haven't seen anybody new here except you guys and like i said your guys is you guys are starting to ruin my hunting grounds and making me more making people more aware of my presence here so they're like oh you don't have to worry about it we're not going to be here long we haven't found anything anyways so we're probably going to head out soon although Adelaide's gonna say, although I am wondering why you're so curious about a couple low-life witches poking around your turf. Unless you know something that we should know. So Kenji realizes now that these two are definitely up to something and that they know that he is hiding something. So he's determined that he needs to do something. So he's like, listen. You guys don't want to mess around here. I'm a master vampire. You guys should not be here. I will cause harm to you. You just need to back off now. She's like, well, what if I go to Alistair and start talking? Maybe we've actually found what we've been looking for all along. So the two of them have realized that um, Kenji is lying. So they have decided that they are going to summon Alistair here together. And they are going to let him know that they have found the location of the new family of the family that he's been searching for. Right away, Allie is going over and he is starting fires. He is getting rid of Kenji's access to plasma fruit. So he is starting a fire all around. So he is basically causing a bunch of problems. He's gone into Kenji's home and he's basically planning on burning the house down. So he's going to start fires all around Kenji's property and he's like trying to um, trying to take care of Kenji. He knows that vampires are susceptible to fire. So they're going to try to burn Kenji's house down. Kenji is freaking mad. He's trying to stop the fires. Everyone else is like whatever. And Adelaide is angry over here. She is not happy about it. So unfortunately, uh, Kenji realizes that there's no other way to deal with these guys. They are trying to contact Alistair. They are trying to destroy what this family has worked for. So he now has to change into his dark form. And he has decided that he is going to take care of these two the only way Kenji really knows how. Drain them of their plasma. That way they become weak. because he cannot have them getting back to Alistair. So unfortunately, he is gonna have to silence them the only way Kenji knows how. And then he is going to cause hallucinations and he is actually going to wipe their memory completely because he has the vampire ability to uh, 
wipe people's memories. So he doesn't want to uh, get rid of them completely because he's trying to become a better guy. So like his goal is not to, you know, kill. <laughs> so he just wants to make it where they don't remember why they were here. They don't remember, they don't remember anything that they've found. He's just making sure that they are basically, they don't even remember their spellcasters. They're just going to go back to their regular old lives before they met Alistair. Um, and they won't remember a thing. So what is she hallucinating? She's just hallucinating. Dazed. Vampire hallucination. After holding a conversation with the new friend for several hours, a mind fog slowly lifts away. The realization dawns that there was no new friends and the hours spent were mere seconds. So she doesn't remember even talking to Kenji. She doesn't remember seeing him. She realizes that this whole thing was just a hallucination and she never found anything. So, like I said, he's going to do the same thing over here to Allie to make sure that they don't get back to Alistair or tell them anything. So, um, in the night, Kenji is just going to return them to another realm far, far away from anywhere near Alistair. They won't remember anything about Alistair's evil plans. Okay, so it is Wednesday morning. I am going to see what is she at for mixology. She's on seven. So I'm gonna have her practice making drinks here while she's watching over little Daisy. Um, she needs to get to level 10. I want her to max out that today. So I'm just gonna have her work on that for a bit. Um, she doesn't work till Friday. So I will catch back up with you guys um, when something exciting happens really. So Elaine is 2% away from getting to level 9 of Mixology. I'm not sure if there's 9 or 10 in Mixology. I'm, I'm guessing it's 10, but I guess we'll find out here in a sec. But we were able to get her up to 8 and now almost to 9. So she did pretty good. She's getting really tired. It's 9 o'clock at night and she's starting to uh, get pretty tired. So she just hit 100, so we should be getting it here. There we, there we go. Level 9. She has learned the Sism... Sims Mapolitan recipe, and she's also learned a cool new bottle fire. Oh wow, <laughs> fireball trick! Perfect. So she's doing really great. I'm gonna let her go take care of all of her needs because she is tense. She's been working really hard. Sir Lancelot has been taking care of the baby tirelessly. He has been doing such a good job. I am so proud of him. So I think um, I'm gonna get him to just take care of little Elaine or little Daisy, and then I'm gonna get him to age her up while her mom is in the shower. So here is little Daisy aging up. Oh, Ooh. Okay. So I just want to check the next challenge rules so we can see what traits will best suit Daisy. Okay, so we're on Generation 2 right now. Generation 3 is the Merchant. Um, Charisma Skill. As a teen, build your Charisma Skill. Earn money through an Art Skill, Woodworking, Painting. Okay, so we'll go down the Creative route with her. Okay. Okay, so I guess, um, hmm. This doesn't really matter, I would say. So, okay, we got Angelic. Well, you're not going to see me complain. <laughs> Oh, she aged up with super red hair. Oh, and some weird CC. I'm gonna, not gonna lie. She's got some weird CC on her. <gasps> Daisy's got red hair just like mama. Oh, someone got a sentiment. I really value the time we spend together. Aw, she already has a sentiment about her dad. It's because they're so close. He's been taking such good care of her. A little cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into Cass and see what we've got going on. Okay, so here's Daisy before we do anything. She definitely has a uh, <laughs> interesting look, but she does have like gray blue eyes. So I think she got the eyes of her dad. Yeah, because her mom has green eyes, I believe. Oh, she's got yellow eyes. Elaine's got yellow eyes. Okay, but she's got the red hair like Elaine. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and give this cutie pie her makeover, and I will be right back. Alrighty, you guys. So Daisy is done. I have to admit, I 
took out a lot of my old medieval CC um, when the newest update came when everyone was having all those crashes because my game wouldn't load and I deleted it because I was like so annoyed about my game not working. I deleted a lot of my CC that I actually loved. So I need to go collect it all and download it again. So currently Daisy is as best dressed for the time period as possible. There isn't a lot for toddlers. So I did the best that I could, but I wanted to still stick with like yellows for her. So I gave her short red hair because I feel like everyone's had long hair recently. So I thought it would be nice to have like a little short haired kiddo. I think she is actually so cute. I gave her this cute little yellow top and some green pants and just some little shoesies. Then her formal is just a little yellow dress. And her sleepwear is probably the closest thing to medieval I have right now. <laughs> um, party wear, again, just trying to stick with the little yellow theme. So I hope you guys like it. I know it's not super medieval, but it's what I could work with. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back into the game. All righty. So here is little Daisy in the game looking so so cute. I like the idea that she's not super girly just because of the fact that, you know, she is being raised kind of like on a farm. You know, she doesn't have a lot. They don't have a lot of money. So I feel like they would just kind of work with what they've got. It's not like she would have these beautiful gowns, you know. So it's late at night, but Kenji has actually shown up and he's actually still in his dark form. So let's go over and find out why he is here. She's like, why are you here so late at night? What do you want? I don't understand why you're here. He's like, listen, he said there, there was two witches here and they were looking for you guys and they were here because Alistair sent them. So they almost found you guys. Fortunately, I caught them before they caught you. She's so tired. Um, she's like, well, what are we supposed to do? Do we have to leave right now? Like, what's going on? So she's going to complain about her problems. <laughs> she's so stressed. She's like, what do you mean he found us already? And he's like, no, calm down. And she's like, why do you look like that? And she's kind of like having a panic attack. He's like, calm down, calm down. He's like, I took care of it. The Alistair does not know that you guys are here. They were just checking all of the realms. I spotted them while they were here and they've been dealt with. So you don't have to fear, but I want you to know that they are close. Like they were already in the realm. There's bound to be more that come and they burnt down my house. Not that you care. She walks off. <laughs> um, so I think Lancelot's going to come out and be friendly instead with him because I think Elaine's like, oh my gosh, Alistair causing so much trouble for me and my life and my family. And she's just so sick of it. She's being a little bit of a drama queen. So Lancelot's going to come out. So Kenji's going to fill in Lancelot and Lancelot's going to thank him for protecting his family and for taking care of it. And Lancelot's going to say to him, so well, what are we going to do? And he's like, well, we just have to keep an even closer. Kenji's going to say, well, we just have to keep an even closer eye on Daisy right now. And so Lancelot's like, okay, well, that's fine. We can do that. So, um... In the process of Kenji explaining the story and the situation, he did mention that the vampire, or that the witches did burn his house down. So Lancelot's like, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where are you going to stay? And he's like, well, I figured I would go crash at the um, castle, the, the witch's castle. Lancelot's actually going to come over and he's going to ask him to move in with them. He's going to say to him, like, you know, you're here to protect our family you've already protected us once i think that you've proven yourself to be trustworthy you know we would rather have you closer than farther away from daisy right now you've already managed to stop two bad people two bad guys so you know to show our gratitude and also to keep you closer would you like to live with us would you like to move in and then you would be able to take care of her so Kenji's gonna say yes. Um, we are not getting his nine million dollars. So Kenji has moved in and he actually hears a little Babalaroo crying. So he is gonna come up and just be a little friendly to her. So Kenji's gonna come in and he is meeting her up as a toddler for the first time. And so he is gonna try to make her feel better and make her smile. So he's telling her a funny story and she's looking at him so cutely so he's basically gonna say to her 
You have no worry about, you do not have to worry about having any nightmares tonight and you're gonna be just fine. So he is going to, oh, I think he's gonna play. I thought he was gonna put her to sleep, but he's like, no, let's, let's throw her in the air first. No, let's put Daisy to sleep. So he's gonna say, good night, little one, go to sleep. And I think now that he's seeing her as this cute little adorable toddler, he's realizing that, you know, protecting this cute little innocent child is way more important than, you know, his ego about the fact that he's a glorified babysitter. He's realizing like these people really wanna hurt her and she's just an innocent child. And he's lived for so long that he has seen so many things happen before and he just would like to try to um, help the family out in any way he possibly can and try to make a difference for their lives because obviously right now um, he doesn't really have anything else. He doesn't have any family. All of his family and friends are gone. You know, he's lived thousands of years. So he's kind of lonely and I think that now that he's in this household seeing this lovely family, loving family and how they all cared so much about this little girl, Merlin and Matilda and all these people banded together, he's realizing that um, that's something he's missed for a really long time is having that human connection and family bonds and I think he's realizing that his role here is more important than he initially thought. So he is feeling very confident. Look, he's feeling loved from tucking in a toddler. Caring for a toddler is its own reward. He's made a new friend. Um, and oh, he also is satisfied from all of the plasma he drank when he took care of the two evil wizards or two evil witches. So I think we are going to go ahead, you guys, and leave this part here. We aged up little Daisy. She is asleep in her little bed, being the cutest little cutie you will ever did see. Oh, so cutie. Um, and Kenji moved in after dealing with the evil wizard and witches. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Daisy. And for the next episode, I will download all of the medieval CC and we will change Daisy's look to make sure that she looks time appropriate. And yeah, until next time, you guys, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>